Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you have not been here before and thanks so much for watching this video. Pretty sure it's been a minute since I've done a makeup tutorial here on my channel. The last one I can remember I think was last year, but it's possible that I did another one since then. Anyways, I've been using some different products lately. I've been really into like a glowy kind of fresh look. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have not already hit that notification bell. So you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if there is a product that is your holy grail for like a glowy springtime or summertime look, please go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. As always, I'll be sure to link all the products that I'm using here today. Some of them are a little bit tricky to get. So I'll be sure to try and link similar products if I can't find the specific one in stock. Also down there, I have my Instagram, Poshmark, TikTok, camera details, outfit details, presets if you guys like the way that I edit on Instagram. And that's it. Let's go ahead and get into this look. I'm such a dork. Okay, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with every single detail of how I apply my morning skincare, but I just did that. I'll go ahead and link all the products and like show you guys little clips of how I use them, but I just finished with my sunscreen. So I'm gonna start with eyeliner, which might sound a little bit backwards, but I am a hot mess when it comes to eyeliner. Sometimes it works out great, sometimes it doesn't. So I like to clean it up when I have no foundation or concealer on my face just because I find it a little bit easier. So I'm using the Roller Liner by Benefit and this is the brown shade. Yeah, that's all it's called is brown. I think that's as good as it's gonna get on camera especially. It's not like perfectly even, but can anybody really get their eyeliner perfectly even? I don't know. So next I'm gonna use my Tatcha the Silk Canvas to just kind of like smooth, fill in some pores. All right, let's move on to foundation. So the foundation that I've been using a ton recently is new by YSL. I know this is a pricey foundation, but it is so worth it. I love the finish on this. I believe there is a Maybelline foundation that people say is a dupe for this. So I'll link that for you guys as well if you're not wanting to spend the money on this. I purchased it during the Sephora sale and I know that's coming back up. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. Once I've spread the foundation out onto my skin with my fingers, I then go back in with Beauty Blender to just blend everything out. This foundation is definitely not full coverage, so there are some spots that I still wanna cover a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Sand just to conceal the blemishes on my skin. Next, it's time to conceal, and I'm kind of in between two shades right now, so I'm gonna mix two. Definitely not necessary. So first I'm gonna use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee, and then I'm also going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 4.5. Let's move on to blush. So I hope you guys don't hate me for showing this because I know it is so hard to get these, but the second they come back in stock, I swear you guys have to grab these. So this is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pink Gasm. I am dying to get the peachy one. I think it's called Peach Gasm, but this one is really gorgeous too. And I just absolutely love how glowy it is so easy to apply to. And I'm just using an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend that out. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. I stopped using highlight for a very long time until I started using this. This is once again a beauty light wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. Hard to get but they are so good. I like this one because it looks so natural. It's not super obvious that you can see the highlight on the skin. It's just like blends in seamlessly, but it gives such a gorgeous glow. So now I'm gonna set my face. And to do that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I need to grab another one of these because I'm almost out. I'm gonna set under the eyes first. Thank you. 
And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit, not too much, on an e.l.f. powder brush and just set the areas of my face, like mainly in my T-zone, and then use what's ever left on the brush to kind of lightly dust the rest of my face. I'm also going to dust away the excess powder under my eyes. I'm going to be using this hourglass bronzer that I literally can't remember when I got it. I've had it for so long, but it's their ambient lighting bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. Using a Marc Jacobs The Bronze brush, just lightly dusting that mainly on my forehead and sides of my nose a little bit and then underneath my chin. Before I do my brows, lips, and mascara, I'm going to set my face with a setting spray. My favorite for years now, I can't give it up, is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. It's literally the best setting spray you could ever use. The only brow product that I've been using lately, like literally for like the last three months, is this one called New Contour. I'm actually doing an Instagram ad with them, but I genuinely love the product so much. What's really cool about this is it actually has ingredients in it that help like nourish your brow hairs. So I've noticed my brows have grown in thicker. They're just like looking way better than they ever have since I started using this. And it's actually a really good product as well. So what I like to do is kind of get the least amount of product on the brush so I can just control the product a little bit better. That same brand also has a product called a new mascara, which I really like this as well. Same thing, it's got really hydrating, nutrient rich lash ingredients in it that have helped my eyelashes significantly. I use a growth serum as well that's helped them grow. But what I've noticed since I started using this is my eyelashes seem way more hydrated because I think I'm like a little scientist or something when I'm putting on my makeup. I like to use a bunch of different products. So I start out with this just at the base of my lashes to like help them stay curled. Next, I'm going in with the Beauty Counter Think Big All-in-One Mascara. I like this one because it's really nice and lengthening and it helps separate my lashes as well. And lastly for lashes, I know I'm very extra. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger, Blacker, Better mascara. I love how thickening this mascara is and it's super ultra black. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of that Beauty Counter mascara on my bottom lashes. Last step of the whole routine is lips. And I'm gonna be using the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural to line my lips. And then Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Top I think it's called Superstar Lips, something like that, but I absolutely love the shade. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? This glow just makes me so happy. It's mainly thanks to the foundation, the blush, and the highlighter for sure, but I love the like soft moisturized lips as well. Minimal eye makeup. I'm usually not somebody that goes too crazy with eyeshadow or anything, so a brown liner feels very soft to me and just, of course, I have to do a black mascara. But anyways, this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely not too complicated. I'll be sure to do my best to link all the products that I use. I know some of these are gonna be out of stock, so I'll try to link dupes or similar products, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if there's any like nice, springy, glowy makeup products that you love for this season. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.